Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Renata and this is Running in Style. Today I'm sharing with you an interview that I had on a Sota Fit Facebook group. Andrea invited me to come on to her group and have a little chat about being a SoTuber. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I look forward to your comments and I will see you on another upload. Have a great day. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Andrea here with Soul to Fit. We are live with Renata. We are having a conversation about the life of a YouTuber. I want to welcome everybody. If you come in the house, let us know you're here by telling us where you're watching from and how, if you know either myself or Renata. Renata is with Running in Style. I am Andrea with Soul to Fit. Hi. And here we go. Welcome, Renata. How are you today? Hi, I'm fine. Just relax. I'm here in cold Wisconsin. <laughs> Wisconsin. I forgot you're in Wisconsin. We have some folks already hopping in. I'm glad to see you guys already. Thanks for joining us. And if you guys have any questions, just type it in. I will post your questions on the front of our faces or below our faces on the screen when we get to the point of answering those questions. And so, because we are both YouTubers, we thought we would try this out on Facebook so that you guys can get to know us. And if you enjoy this show, it will be posted on both of our YouTube channels later on. So, welcome everybody. Make sure you tell us where you're from. Okay, so, hello, Renata. Hi. <laughs> okay, so... Of course, we don't want to make it like we're just uh, doing a news anchor show or anything like that. So we're going to just chit chat and talk about our lives as a YouTuber. But okay. I was just curious about Renata in particular. Renata. Yeah. <laughs> you've been you've been YouTubing a long time. Maybe I feel like you've been YouTubing a long time. So tell me, when did you actually get started YouTubing? I actually started in I think February of 2015. I'm not sure if I started like in November 2014, but definitely 2015. I put up a few videos and I don't know, there wasn't a lot of demand, so I kind of dwindled off. I, I would put up videos every now and again, but it wasn't really consistent. Mm -hmm. So I sort of stopped and then after a while I got back into wanting to sew more and enjoying the videos so last May I really focused on putting on videos consistently and just getting more projects out the door. So it seems like you were actually doing YouTube and before it became a hot a hot item in the sewing community right? Yeah probably. <laughs> yeah I kind of say you know I, I kind of noticed that because I started my YouTube channel back in 2014. Uh, actually no I started my YouTube channel when my grandbaby was born Adriana my, her fir my you first YouTube video was Adriana learning how to ice skate. <laughs> 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 yes, that was when you first learned how she's here, y'all. So welcome Adriana as well. But anyway, I was just curious about that. So when you started it because it was just something just a whim. Um All right. I basically started it because I do have a blog, but vlogging takes a long time and I want to make sure I have great photos. And then I thought, you know, it's really helpful to see it on someone. See okay. The project in 3D versus you know a, a static photo. So that's right. basically why I started. I kind of love to tell a story or have a theme behind my videos. And I just like that aspect of the video. Okay, so basically you do have a blog then. Yeah, I okay, do. So you started the blog first, or do you? Uh, maybe I missed that. I'm you know I'm multitasking over here. <laughs> I've had a blog for forever. I, oh, I probably started in 2009. Um, oh. I had just had my, my daughter, and I just wanted something to do. <laughs> just to you know what? You say, you say blogging takes longer, but I'm kind of curious because if you have, you know, having a blog, it's kind of interesting how we say blogging takes longer, but wouldn't you, wouldn't you feel like... Uh, 
YouTubing actually <laughs> takes longer. I mean, because when you think about it, if right. you if you had to choose between a blog and video, you say you would choose video, but wouldn't video take a lot longer? It does take a lot longer to edit. I think it's down to a personal preference. Like, I feel like it's easier to just talk about something versus putting all the right words down on a blog. Okay. And I think maybe that's where I'm at. I like to do the vlogs and just pretty it up and tell a whole story without writing all the words. Okay, <laughs> so well then with that being said, I'm just curious. Uh, maybe I'm feeding back. Give me a second. Give me a second here. Okay. What I'm curious about, all right, so then if you like talking about it, wouldn't that take longer? Or how do you choose your sewing? How do you choose your sewing? Do you utilize your thought processing on how you would present it on your vlog? Or I don't even think it's really vlogging, to be honest with you. But we're going to get to that question, y'all. How do you choose your sewing projects? Do you choose them based on, okay, well, I need to, you know, YouTube this. So I'm just going to do it because... You know, is it because everybody else is doing it or do you sit no. back and decide? How do you, you do know, that? I think for me, I, is, I just make what I want. Not okay. because everyone is making something. I have to like something before I go sewing it and then never wear it again. Right. So I do those sometimes. I do make things that I'll probably wear once. Uh huh. For every day, I, I choose things that I like. You know, you know that's... That's kind of funny because I choose things I choose things that require me to do a lot of thinking. And when it requires me to do a lot of thinking, I believe in my I believe okay, well, they probably have a problem because if I have a problem, then I'm going to do a video cuz they would have a problem. Okay. And I'm you know, I'm going to jump over some things here real quick. I'm wondering about you know, when we are doing you know, besides the inspirations and everything like that on what we're going to do, YouTube's about, do you feel like every single time you sew a garment or a project, you need to do a tutorial? No, I, I don't think, no, I don't. I don't do tutorials. For me, my videos is more visual. I like to style my projects. So for me, that's where... That's why I do the videos. Like I like to sew my projects and just showcase how you can put it together. Okay. Or what color you can use. Or I'm more interested in that aspect of the sewing. Okay, now that's why, and this is interesting, when I started following you, I am a more technical-minded person. I forget about the shoes. I forget <laughs> about the earrings. <laughs> I forget about bracelets. I don't even think how I'm going to wear a garment before I start. I look at the fabric and I'm curious, do you start with the fabric or do you think the whole look? Oh my gosh, that's a horrible question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, think about it. I look at Instagram, right? You look at Instagram and you're, you're thinking to yourself, Instagram, everybody is showing the whole look. But then when they show what project they're going to work in, they work on, they show their, the, the pattern, mm -hmm. the fabric, mm -hmm. shoes, uh, you know, they even have the thread, the zipper, and I'm oh. looking at that going. I'm not that organized. Like when I made that short dress, uh -huh. I had no clue. It was for the challenge. And I was like, I don't know how I'm going to style this because all, all my mind was thinking was, find a shirt dress pattern that I like okay. and make it for the challenge. And then okay. when I made it and I put it on the dress form, I was like, <sighs> <laughs> it's a nice pattern and it's cute. But I just didn't know that it was me. Like it wasn't my style. But right. then I decided what shoes I was going to wear. I'm like, there's no way I'm wearing this with flats. It would just not look right. And it just still didn't feel complete. So then I added the hat and the sash. And I thought, yes. Okay. <laughs> then, you know, when I, uh, when I have my project, I finish a project and I'm ready to take pictures in it to show folks on the blog, I go, oh, snap, I need shoes. 
And shoes that I hardly ever wear, I start rummaging through my closet. <laughs> and then, you know, friends of mine from different places, they're like, girl, those shoes are hot. And I'm thinking, oh, these things, they were still in the box. <laughs> that is true. You know, when you take some pictures, sometimes I go through the roadblock of wondering, should I buy a new shoes? <laughs> I did a video in bad shoes. Would anybody notice it? Right. So then I'm like, you know what? This is real life. I can't go out and buy a different shoes for every outfit. <laughs> you right. know, I work right. and I have kids and I have a whole life that isn't just Instagram. Right. So, no, no purse. Mm -hmm. do, do you do you All think right. about? Taking pictures or doing your pictures with video with with purses because to me purses are like, are you serious? No, I I don't, and I see a lot of people doing that, and that's great for them. But for me, it's like I have one or two bags. Yeah, and that's really it. You know, unless I'm going to a special occasion, I don't change my bag constantly. That's not my life. Right. I have a Kato's near me, and I'm not trying to do a plug for Kato's or anything, but. I take pictures of my outfits when I'm done. I might finish three or four outfits in one week and never blog about it for, well, I say garment pieces and not blog about it or even do anything about it for three, six months to a year. Mm -hmm. But when I'm ready to start taking pictures, I'll take all of those to Cato. And Cato is like a really low cost, kind of like Sam, uh, you know, all these little places that sell accessories. Okay. And I'll take it up there. And the ladies are wonderful because it's real close to my house. I take it up there and I say, okay, what necklace, what earrings, what shoes? <laughs> and they must be really excited to help you because who they are. How often does that happen? <laughs> you know, I think what happens is when they don't have to worry about, uh, uh, you know, getting any kind of commission, they're a little bit more friendly. You yeah, know? and I just go in the dressing room trying on my own clothes and shoes or whatever accessory or t shirt or something extra to go with it, and that's what makes it so much more fun. It's pretty cool. But yeah. I, you know, when we talk about, however, when we talk about doing these videos and everything, I'm curious to know are you more into voiceovers, having your picture down at the bottom, or letting me see you as you talk? It depends on the video that I'm working on. Like, I would do face-to-face, -face, like, videos if I am doing a haul or something. Mm -hmm. Or, um, yeah, basically if you're doing a, a fabric haul or a right. pattern haul, or if you have something specific to talk about, when I'm showcasing... You know, I don't want to interrupt you, but... Forgive me, but I don't get the, I don't get the hauls. <laughs> I tried it. I did. I tried it. You saw me try it. I did one of those mega hauls. <laughs> <And> <laughs> you know what? I got more people all up in my pocketbook. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Y'all can stay out of my pocketbook. I ain't telling y'all nothing no more. I don't need to tell y'all where I get it, how much I pay for it or nothing. You just figure it out. <laughs> um I used to do a lot of fabric haul, pattern hauls, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But now I'm to the point where I like to have more of a surprise in yes. my videos than have the fabric already there. So more now, I just put all a picture on Instagram versus doing a whole YouTube video. Okay, I like that. So I'll do that now instead because I, I like the idea of being surprised when I put a video out. Okay, so the ultimate question, and I don't know if a lot of people have this problem. Do you have an IT department? <laughs> yeah, Renata and Renata. I'm oh, glad oh. <laughs> my husband is good with that. You know, <laughs> everybody has heard about my son by now. That's my IT department now. Yep. I don't know. I, I think I put the mama thing on him. I was like, you know what, baby? Mama is smart, but I ain't that smart. <laughs> yeah, for like anything technical, I'll go to my husband. But, okay. but the editing of the video, he leaves that to me. I will have him probably review something. Uh-huh. 
And he'll be like, you can put that in. Like, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, work it. I'm like, yes, I'm going to put that in. <laughs> so I know we talked about a gaming computer and stuff like that. We need a lot of uh, power to do this stuff, don't we? Yes. Definitely. I don't think people really recognize the you know the massiveness of the look y'all i have a jesus Are you a i mean when my son brought this over here i was like what the heck is that he's like oh thanks mary i know right i'm just, i'm feeling all all professional over here you know mary just posted about liking the fabricals and you know i i thought about you know Sometimes doing like seasonal hauls, so like for spring yeah. or for fall or yeah. fall winter. I don't mind breaking it up into bigger chunks because right. every time I pass a fabric store, I usually stop and buy fabric. <laughs> Even if I do post, look, I know everybody is trying to see. <laughs> everybody wants to know what we have in our stash, but I'm starting to get to the point. I'm, you know, even though we might make different things, but I, I'm starting to get to the point where I don't want to even talk about fabric hauls and I don't even want to show what I have because somebody else is going to get it and have something that looks like mine. You're I just want to feel like if I see it before they see me with it, it's fine. I'm still going to, you know, I just, it just takes away the fun. <laughs> but there's so much fabric all over the world. I know, I know, but you know. You cannot be the only one with that fabric, okay? I know, I know, but you know how it is. Girl, we in our sewing room and we thinking, oh, I'm the first. You can totally create what you want with the same fabric and it will almost not look the same. Okay, so <laughs> then are you looking for, when you post your videos, you know, we tag our videos so that people will get them because billions of people are on YouTube, not to mention the million of YouTubers out there. Mm -hmm. So would you say, uh, you know, would you say that having the videos with a lot more, because I have to admit, my one truth is I do not watch a whole lot of sewing videos. Do you find yourself binging on all the other YouTube video lady videos? Or so, yeah, so I do. I, I binge on the people I follow <laughs> when okay. I'm sewing. Like I have it in the background. I yes. never run because I won't sew. <laughs> okay, so how many little how many little uh uh phone mounts do you have around your house? And I'll tell you how many I have. How many what pardon? Phone mounts. The little phone mounts. That you you put your phone up on because I have this little special thing on my phone. Oh, I'm gonna show no, you. I don't have any. I have my tablet, and that's all. I oh no, I don't have that. I have these little things that cost four dollars and ninety nine cent, glued on the mirror in the bathroom, in the shower, and in the kitchen. Oh, so you can just snap it anywhere. You just <laughs> nope. I've never seen it before, so I am a true YouTuber, honey. I am a true YouTuber. I don't need TVs in my house. <laughs> I got my hand. I can do this. I'm, a, I'm a watching some YouTube videos. <laughs> yes, officer. Oh yeah, I'm fine. And they did just put the signs up saying we can't watch TV or watch videos on our phone anymore. We can't do anything anymore. <laughs> so oh, really? I just put it in the uh, in the drink holder and listen to it. <laughs> Oh my God, definitely. And, you know, listening might be a distraction too. If they right. Do they don't do. Okay, so we have a few people in here. I'd love to hear some questions from you ladies or folks who are watching us here on Facebook. This is Andrea Davis with Soul to Fit and Renata with Running in Style. We are both YouTubers and we have dubbed ourselves Soul Tubers. <laughs> So if you have any YouTuber ladies watching, please make make yourself known so we can welcome you officially. And all the other folks, thank you for joining. I appreciate it. We have, uh, oh, somebody said hello. My, she said hello to my grandbaby. See, I'm just learning how to use this because I didn't know. I kept scrolling up and I was wondering why I wasn't seeing new comments. But now I'm scrolling down and all the comments are at the top. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't lose them. laughs> okay 
so we're going to start with this first question. This question says, uh, we all have the same amount of time in a day and with families, work, and life in general, what keeps you motivated and energized to keep making and producing the content that you do? <laughs> I don't buy clothes for myself <laughs> because I'd be poor. <laughs> Because the things I like are really pricey. Well, and you know so, what? I would understand that because you are into style. And that's a dip. Now, you guys need to understand. I don't know if you do understand. Renata, to me, is really fashionable. She's into fashion itself. Myself, if I'm looking at a catalog or a TV show that has to be fashion or a runway show, my brain and my eyes are literally peeled on where the darts, where the seam lines, where the design lines. That's all I'm seeing. Right. Whereas you are probably, ooh, that's nice how those shoes are put together. The colors yeah. are working. <laughs> yeah. You know, you say with like family work, I do have a full time job. I work for um, an insurance company and I support one of their vice presidents. So one thing is I'm flexible because I work from home yeah. and um, just having my kids at home because I have home kids as well. So my life is really busy and I run a lot. So I, I do scroll through Instagram and I get inspiration. I tend to visit... <sighs> I, I tend to visit like Neiman Marcus. I, I visit all the like high end places to see what they have or what's new, just to get an idea. I let those things guide me in yes. on my sewing versus just going out and making things because they're on trend. I like to know the trends and I like to sew. It's a passion of mine. So whenever I have time, I don't sleep. I sew. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's uh, something. I put a question in my Facebook group some time back. I asked, uh, finish, the finish the last stitch or eat. And I have to tell you, it was a lot of people said finish the last stitch. They would not get up and go eat. And y'all probably already saw on Sunday when I did that sewing chat, I was sewing my swimsuit. My <laughs> husband literally brought my food to my sewing room. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it, it is because, I don't know, you just want to get this done, be complete, because you don't want to go and come back and be like, which stitch was this? <laughs> you know? yeah, I got another question here, Renata, for you. Uh, Anne says, is it nice to see your haul? It's nice to see your hauls. What fabrics other people are buying and so on and so on, especially when some of us have a lot of choices locally. Are don't, don't have, have a lot of choice. My bad. Sorry, y'all. I don't have on my reading glasses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I totally understand the fabric haul. It is nice to see what other people are buying because it gives it gets you motivated to like, oh, I can definitely find something similar to this, or maybe I can make something similar to that. You know, right. it it helps you to make decisions, especially with the pairings, like how they put different fabrics together. It does help you. Yes. Some people do come out there with their hauls and be like, okay, this is what I'm going to make with my, my black fabric and this ball will be my skirt. So it does help you. Right. You know, uh, April was just saying, and this is a good question, April, or comment. She was saying she likes the hauls because she feels like the fabrics, you know, with a more trained eye will pick a fab, a, you know, for a project or hear why they chose a particular pattern. Now, Gosh, people are making me want to do hauls. <laughs> yeah, you need to do hauls. I'm going to tell you why. Because I am, I am that person who needs help choosing the fabric for the project. I have my sister and I have my wardrobe consultant, which is Roz of So Much Fabric. Mm -hmm. And the reason, I be, the reason I even started the wardrobe fit along was because I could not figure out what to make. Because I'll walk in my sewing room and I'll look at, oh, I like that fabric. I'm going to make this and but never April, wear it. April, that is very true because earlier this year when I did the day and night dress challenge, I picked three different fabrics to make a dress and everyone was like, oh my God, Renata, what are you doing with that fabric? Why did you choose that? And it turned out really pretty. 
I'm going to see if I can send you the link, Andrea. Okay, thank you. That'll be good. So <laughs> anyway, that's, um, oh, I have another one here. Claire says, uh, Claire says, do you have a special software to edit your videos or are they raw? <laughs> no, this is the rawest I've ever been. <laughs> Right. So the, uh, I use Power Director to edit my videos. Okay, Power and, Director. Um, it's part of the Cyberlink family. Okay. All right. So now I use. Uh, sh you said you use Power Director. Yes. Okay. I'm just gonna type that in for you, ladies, uh, so that y'all can see because I think that's what it is. Is that right? Power yes. Director Power for Director. editing videos. Mm -hmm. Okay. I use. Um, for me, I use, um, and I don't, I don't try to be perfect on anything. I still use iMovie, y'all. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not trying to learn all that fancy stuff. It's just, it's, it's a big learning curve trying to do too much. And let's just say, because I'm on here, you guys already know, I am a fan of live is because there's no editing <laughs> <laughs> it makes your life easier but i love the transitions <laughs> oh <laughs> okay so oh and you say you sent another question i'll have to go back and and check that one out okay so myra has a question here she says as an individual wanting to create a youtube channel any specific advice to get started just do it <laughs> because I spent almost six months to a year deciding if I wanted to do it because I always felt that people wouldn't like my voice <laughs> <laughs> and I would say a word and it was, I'm not all weird because I have an accent because I'm from Trinidad so we have a whole different accent and now I live in the Midwest so I have a Trini Midwestern accent yes <laughs> and every so often words come out you know, when I'm talking and I'm excited, that accent pops in. So I'm like, I don't want to go there and then have anyone say negative things about how I speak. <laughs> I don't want to go up there. And it took me, I don't know, six, three to six months to actually get a little comfortable talking to myself before right. I put it up. <laughs> okay, this is my answer to your question. Number one most important thing you have to do if you're going to start a YouTube channel is decide your, the type of videos you're going to do. I have personally decided that I, do, I am not into hauls. I'm not into vlogging. I'm not into, you know, I like live videos, so I'll just come on there, tell you what I'm doing. And as far as like I love Renata and some of the other ladies, they get on there and they talk about design, you know, how to dress. And, and one particular thing I like what you do, Renata, which I forgot to bring up, is you have specifically decided the type of videos you're going to do. And that research that you put into the color theory, <laughs> uh, the Pantone, putting the color of Pantone with the designs you're going to make, that right there, you have to, Myra, decide, am I going to tell people about this or I'm going to show them I take something from a store and then I'm going to show you how I manipulate a pattern. You don't have to show them how you do the manipulation, but you can tell them that I took this inspiration and yep. then I did this. And then number two, I feel like don't worry about trying to put in a schedule because you will kill yourself. Just do it when you want to. <laughs> when you, you'll be six feet under and they'll still be kicking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, just, you know, I've seen some people and, um, you know, I don't want to put names out because I don't know if people are okay with me doing that yet. Mm -hmm. That's one thing you also have to think about is, you know, people's information. You have to decide, you know, runway we can use the runway we can use google images you can do whatever you want to do but as long as you don't use other people images and then the cameras and stuff like that the best thing is the sunlight you live in the best place in the world besides california to do perfect videos with all the wonderful light um you can do everything on your cell phone if you have one of these new what is it called um uh, 
the well whatever you know like the iphone the the iphone yeah. 7 has the best camera i think that camera what is it renata has about 20 is 12 or 16 megapixels Whew. which one that iphone 7 oh my gosh i'm an android girl ah! <laughs> 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 and I'm about ready to chuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I do have to admit, y'all, if anybody wants to do a YouTube channel, invest. Do go out and invest in an external hard drive. Don't it's play. An external as well, because it was killing my laptop. Like, there was no space and everything was churning. So I did go out and get an external hard drive but definitely if you do want to start a youtube channel just know what you want to share because you got to share something that you like that way you're fluent in it when you share it you don't sound scripted you right. know oh i hate you scripted with videos heart. yeah i hate scripted videos oh my god Ugh. okay my here we go we got a good question here let's see ann says do you find your followers expect more from you than you are willing to put out more most days <laughs> you know what that question sounds like? I'm sorry. That sounds like your boyfriend wants you to put out. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. I couldn't help it, y'all. <laughs> we don't think about our questions when we type them, do we? <laughs> Look, I'm going to put out what I want to put out. <laughs> I do like to make sure. So you you have your channel and you're creating it because you want to share information. And to some degree, you want to make the people that follow you happy most days. So you will try to, you know, come meet them halfway. So I do. And I understand that they get excited. They're like, oh, can you do this? Can you do this? Yeah. They want you to do something. And, you know, maybe you're not that person. You won't do tutorials like but I'll probably do one once or twice because I know they asked for it. And I, I'm really grateful for them liking my channel and following me because I will continue putting on videos even if I had five followers. So it, that's how I decide, you know, to interact with the community. You know, when I decided to start YouTubing, YouTube, so tubing, I, I remember telling somebody, there is, and I know you guys, y'all follow me a lot. There is my aunt that's on here on every last one of my live streams and my mom. And I said, if they were the only two people that ever watched my videos, I would still be doing it. Yeah, because and, you have to put all what you, you've got. Right. Sure. Be because you get to that point, it's like, this is who I'm talking to. Yeah, and it becomes easier. <laughs> Yeah, and so when you get those ugly comments, which we all do. <laughs> okay, y'all know what? Let me tell y'all about my worst comment, and I'll let... Okay, should Renata tell us about her worst comment? Or oh I'm gonna tell, that worst comment, OMG. Girl, the, okay, here we go. I'm going to type this in so y'all know what we're talking about. The worst YouTube comment, Okay. Oh and God. this here, this here was really, it it really upset me. I learned real quick. What's your worst YouTube comment? <laughs> I don't have. I don't. I don't really have any negative. I get like one or two thumbs down, but I don't really get negative comments. I think. The only thing I did try to do was create um, a pajama, like uh, I'm showing you how to trace one, how to make a copy. <laughs> yes. And basically said, I have to dislike this because I couldn't see where, where you made that cut or it wasn't in the right angle. So it was negative, but <laughs> I, I did say in the beginning, you know, this is the first time I'm doing this. There might be things that are not done correctly. Right. So forgive me, but I'm still sharing it. So that's basically one of the comments. Okay, my worst comment, y'all, and y'all gonna laugh, was you talk way too much. 
<laughs> they said, they said, you talk way too much. You take too long to get to the point. I'm not going to watch you no more. <laughs> That's okay. They don't have to. I was like, sorry, Nada. <laughs> I oh don't God, know. I think so that, you know, if you don't, if, if you're watching something and you don't like it, just go. I would never, I don't ever give thumbs down just because for me, it's something ethical and people work really hard for these videos and right. nobody's perfect. And in time, people will, will get better. I don't like to be a bucket dipper. Okay. Right. Oh, <laughs> I, like to, I like that term, bucket dipper. I like dipper. to fill it up. The kids learn that in school. They don't do bucket dipping. They fill the bucket up. So that's oh. how I treat every video that I watch. Maybe some people, and I have seen videos where people talk and I'm like waiting, but you know what? They're happy doing it. So that's <laughs> what I'm saying. I'm not trying to make them feel sad because it'll make me feel better or I don't know. <laughs> this is a good one. Let's see here. We have Anne asking, what is the best camera you find to use? I, I like my new Canon. It's the T7i. I love it. It's best. It's it's mid range. It's about 850, and um, I love it. I mean, I have my my Sony uh, yeah. that I used, and I like that. I still use that, but just for home video with the kids and stuff, or the dog. Yeah. But for really clear pictures. Okay, sure. What is your, uh, what is your, oh, somebody's talking. Okay. It, my uh, video camera that I like the best is because my videos are longer than 15 or 20 minutes. The regular DSL videos have um, a limit. They don't continue to record. They stop after every 20 minutes. So if I get going real good and I'm recording a tutorial or something like that, I might not notice that that camera stopped recording. So you have to be careful not to run out and think you need to get a DSLR camera to do your video recordings. So I pretty much just went out and bought a regular camcorder because as it's recording, it's an extended recorder and it, it records continuously until you just run out of a uh, uh, flash, not flash drive, but what is this called? SD card. If you run out of SD card, that is the only time it's going to stop and it never gets hot. So, you know, it's just a little Canon Vixia and that's what I use. But as far as like the face to face things, like what you do, right? Renata, don't you do uh, a lot of face to face where you're oh, talking yeah. and then you yeah. have pictures to the side? I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is my first camera. It's a Sony, mm -hmm. and it flips out. It's like it doesn't even. Well, at least it turns forward, so you can actually see yourself. Yes. So I've had this for three years now, and this one only has like a nine point two megapixel. It's a handy cam. It's a yeah. Sony handy cam. No. Yeah, that's yeah. what. Uh, that's what. That's what mine is too. I have. I have the Canon one. And this one here is a Vixia 600, and I'm telling you, that Zoom, y'all already see my YouTube videos. When I do those tutorials, it, it, you know, it comes and does all that good stuff. Look at that. It comes right on when I open it up. Check it out. See? Perfect. I didn't even know it was charged, y'all. It was charged. This is my new camera. This is the Canon T7i. That's the T7i? Yep. And I have two lenses, whatever this one is. This is EFS 55 to 250. Um, this is the zoom lens because I try to do <laughs> some shots outside recording and I always, like my husband would have to come one of them close to me. Because yeah. <laughs> this is a wide angle one. But this wide angle one I use when I'm doing my face to face video and it's a macro. Right. Uh, 0.16. Which one is that, Renata? That's the Canon. Uh, which one? You had the T7i? T7i. 
Okay. Well, I thought about buying that uh, T7i with what you use two lens. That's called a, what kind of lens is that? That's called a, uh, this, is a this one is a pancake wide angle. And this is the zoom lens. Okay. And I use well, the zoom reason lens. I ask is because they refer to that pancake lens as a, um, at least on the YouTube, when we're reading and learning about YouTube, or you know, because we're always watching how to be a good YouTuber, right? <laughs> yeah. it, uh, the pancake lens is the EFS 24 millimeter. And okay. This is what I use when I'm doing the face to face. Okay, that's the one that you get that, and you guys need to understand it's called Boca. That's what you, when you get that. Where okay. it fades out in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that is also a, a feature on the camera itself. Yeah. Where it clears the background. Oh, yeah. You have to do certain settings and stuff. And y'all yeah. see what kind of stuff we have to learn? We learn a lot, but they are very appreciative and says you guys put yourself out there and I think it's awesome. You are doing a beautiful oh, thank job. You. Thank you, Anne. She is such a cheerleader. I sure love it. Thank you. I appreciate it. And Claire says uh, exactly. We were talking about how much we enjoy doing this and we would do it no matter if it was only one person watching. Yeah. Definitely. Yes. Thank you, Joy. I mean, uh, Claire, I apologize. Thank you for that comment. Appreciate it. Then we have another question here. Did you guys see the cameras you guys wanted to see? I typed that in. Mine is the Canon Vixia, and uh, it is called Canon Vixia. <laughs> um, just like it's in there, R600, but they don't sell that anymore. So basically, they have the uh, Canon Vixia 700 and 800, and they run about 200 something like that on yeah, Amazon was about 250 295 yeah okay so basically did anybody else have any questions I sure enjoyed you guys asking all these wonderful questions and making all yes. these beautiful comments oh and we have another one Renata go ahead and tell us where you are I'll type it in for you oh it's uh, running and style and with running and Stuff. Okay, and that's on YouTube, right? It's on YouTube and Instagram at Running in Style. Okay, that's uh, Running in Style uh, for her. Um, running in Style on both uh, YouTube and on uh, Instagram. And runninginstyle.com. Uh, okay, cool. And runninginstyle.com, Olafin. So wonderful. Thank you very much for asking that question because I forget to put that up there. Whoops. <laughs> Plus, everybody's like breaking my arm, twisting my arm to do these hauls. I might have to go shopping. Yes. <laughs> you know, that was interesting because uh, <laughs> somebody's always looking for us to fall on our face because there's just a. <laughs> what I found is the sewing community is very wonderful. You guys. Oh, yeah. Once you get off the ground and running and you find your, so I guess they call it tribe or your t people who love you to death and going to watch any video Hello, you put up. Emily. There's a question that just popped up there. Okay. All right. Where, oh, here we go. Hi, Jenna Lee. Nice to see you. What we have here. Jenna Lee said, do you design your own clothing or do you use a certain pattern? I have a book that I will be using on my Soakation in August to learn to draft my own clothing, and I use mostly birder style for sewing. I do have tons of McCall's. I try to do the independent pattern designers to support them, so I'll find one here and there. But I find myself always going to Joanne's <laughs> when they have pattern sales. And off lately, I've seen some really nice very fashion followed designs from McCall's and Simplicity. So it's really nice to see that because Birder Style Magazine, they have amazing fashion followed designs, but not everybody yes. likes to trace their patterns. Well, you know, uh, Birder Style, one thing about them, I get their magazine. I pay for their magazine subscription. I have a, I have a, a box. Yeah. You're the collector. I am the collector girl. I, I have a lot of patterns. I, look, I study patterns. 
I study them for for real, for real. And but I have my Berta style, and when I want to make something, y'all already knew about my green floral print folklore suit that I made. Oh, I got that out of the book, of course. But then I turned right around and went and downloaded it because I was not about to trace. <laughs> I did. <didn't. laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at here. Marcy says, not so related. Uh, Renata, see, this is what's so fun about being a YouTuber because it's not even related. They're like, oh, wait. I like her. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and I've had my hair like this for two weeks now. I've been lazy and sleeping. So I had to fluff it up a little bit more for this video. <laughs> when I first started watching YouTube videos, I was watching wigs and uh, wigs, weaves, and natural hair care. <laughs> natural hair care. I might have to invest in some wigs to change my look for these fashion forward videos I have to make for these people. <sighs> I, have, I have one more question. Okay, this is one that I have started doing. Do you? Thanks, Myra. Uh, uh, do you do you um uh, what do you what do you call it uh record one after another just change clothes and record another one and oh no 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 <laughs> so what I really do is when I sew all my projects and I want to put a video together I tell my husband Saturday that's today oh, okay that's when I go. And I change and I do my videos in different places. He's like, we're not doing five, okay? He's like, I can't take the change in a five outfits. <laughs> so you have to do one or two outfits because sometimes it's hot and you sweat and it's just like terrible. But yeah. um, so I try to, you know, do a video a week. So okay. he use the, the, um, the lookbook kind of feeling one week. So I'll have four of them done. And then yeah. one day I sit down. And I just talk about them. Oh, okay, <laughs> so that's how, you have, that's how you have the little insets and stuff yeah. like that. See, yeah. that's something to consider if you guys want to start a YouTube channel because that's not like me. I I might have my YouTube video might have cuts of me in the <laughs> store. Did it have a cut of me at this table? I might be at the table in my living room. I might be, y'all going to be looking at it. It's going to be chopped up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and when I'm when I'm recording my videos, I do retake them a certain time, but I don't like like I don't like 15 million little chops and try to combine it. So right. I think through the the sentence or what I'm talking about. So it's like at least a minute because yes. you can't go 15 seconds, 10 seconds. It's just crazy. That leaves me well, um... the transition. When I do it, the reason I'm able to keep up with all of those different clips is because every single project I'm working on, which can be very, could be five or six projects at one time, I will have a, a separate SD card for every project. So oh every time I get ready to film anything regarding that project, that is the SD card for all of the clips, pictures, Whatever it is, all of them go on in one car. How do you stay organized? <laughs> just curious. Wait a minute. I just told you how I stay organized. I use, because we're always filming, right? Yeah. And because we're always filming, we are, I make sure that every project has a separate card. And I, if I'm, I have this camera over the table, and I might have a camera in front of me. So if I'm talking to both of those cameras, I'll dump it into my, you know, that project folder on my iMovie. And I have, this dumped, boxes. I have three boxes for <laughs> projects. And now let me run and go get it. I'll show you. <laughs> that is so funny. It's always a lot of fun knowing how we organize our projects. I know y'all see that pile right here. I am organizing my sewing room right now, and I am trying to uh, inventory and make sure I don't overlook any beautiful fabric, you know, that I have. <laughs> so, you know, it's one of those things that we have to think about ahead of time. 
Hey, Ann says the extent of my videos taking video taking is what I put up today on your Facebook page. <laughs> you ladies are seriously an amazing, doing an amazing job. Thank you, Ann. I certainly appreciate it. Okay, here's Renata back with her fancy organizer. <laughs> what do we have here, Renata? I'm ready to see this. So I have three of these. This is a, the big one, Ooh, and that's, that's where I put the project that needs to get done by the end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, the only thing I do to keep up with my projects, they all go in a zip. Each one of them have a two gallon Ziploc bag. That's and it. Then I have two medium ones for current projects that I have. So, so if I'm tired, I just stop and I just pull them and I put them in here. <laughs> You know what? That is so much fun. I, I I want to do the pretty boxes and stuff, but the Ziploc bags and the little canvas boxes have been working for me. Unfortunately, if I get a crease in some of my good fabric, then I really messed up. But, but you know, is definitely because you could put a few Ziploc bags in here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let me see that box. Where'd you get those from? TJ Maxx. Okay, I'm gonna have to check them out. I really like that. I like that they have the handle on them so they can sit up really nice and pretty on the yep. shelves. But see, that's a the problem. They're gonna sit up there all nice and pretty, and I won't remember they're there. <laughs> well, then you're gonna have to stick a badge with a photo on the front. <laughs> I do. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all this real quick. <laughs> Go ahead and talk, Renata. <laughs> okay, so I have tons of Britter style. And I store them in these magazine holders. I think that they're really helpful because um, I got this from Ikea. And I just would normally put what season they are. And then I store them by season and years. So 2010, 11, 12. And then I just put the seasons on them. So for me, this is how I store all my iPad and magazines. Okay, so for me... What I do is, if you want to really know how I keep up with all my videos, I keep this book. And every time I start a new video, I start a new page. And then for my projects, I make sure that every single project I do, mm -hmm. I create a, um, I, I draw it on, on here. So if... I have these little things here, and then I tape them into my book. Oh. Cool. Yeah, these are fashionary. They just, uh, and so I have to do that. So like the skirt, y'all probably saw that on the skirt video I did. Mm -hmm. I do one of these for every single one, and they come like this. Where do you get those? I ordered them off of Amazon. I'll have to leave a link in there for y'all later on, but yeah, or I'll send you a link later. Oh, but... I have a new thing that... Oh my goodness, and oh. I know you didn't say you see a sewing room tour. Don't start. <laughs> Look, so, I know it's gonna be clean. What you got, Renata? I'm trying to figure out how to organize my fabric because I have a very my husband built me a tall shelf, so uh -huh. they're all folded in there. And they usually look nice, but I wanted them to be upright, so I picked up these. They're like a comic book backers. So I can wrap my fabric around them. Oh, where did you find those at? Amazon. Oh my God. Okay, so you gotta send that to me because Yeah. Okay. But okay. I'm thinking you might want to get one that's about six and three quarters and thirteen inches long. This one is just ten and a half. So I'll probably only be able to wrap like cotton fabric and nothing too thick on it. Okay. I feel like in the store and I can just Put the fabrics upwards like this yeah well i'm trying not to have my fabrics out because i'm on the west side of the house and this light it that is, comes through here um, comic book boards okay okay she said comic book boards uh and i'll let you see that uh so let me yeah you got it in comic book boards And she had, she got it from Amazon. Amazon. Okay. And there is 100 boards in here. Okay. All right. So cool. 
All right, so we got that. Any other questions? We're coming to the end of our nice, fun, the life of a SoTuber. You guys are going to see yeah. hashtag SoTuber on all of our social media yeah. now. We were just and, chatting, and then all of a sudden, we're here. <laughs> yes, we just started chatting. You guys know I love live, so I had to pull her in with a crane. <laughs> <laughs> well, like we couldn't get this thing working last week. Yeah, we tried it last week. I know some of you guys were on here last week, so I'm glad we were able to do this. Thank you guys for uh, joining in. I can't say that we're going to have this as a regular weekly thing, but you, you will know about it every time I get ready to do it, once I find folks who are interested in doing it with me. So um, I appreciate it. If you have any suggestions for other YouTubers or SoTubers that are out there that you think that would be fun doing this, that would be great. If you are a SoTuber, please email me or message me. Let me know. Andrea at SoTofit.com and Renata is at Running in Style, right? Yes. Yes, Running in Style. Thank you so much for inviting me. <laughs> You're very humble and honored. Oh, Thank yes, ma'am. We are, we are a different breed. We <laughs> definitely are a different breed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so did anybody have any other questions? I think we're going to call that a day. You guys, please follow us and make sure you like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. If you are not showing up on our YouTube channel, we will come after you. Yes, Anyway, Mary, share fun. this video today. Let us let everybody else know that we're here. If you do not follow Running In Style, you have a Facebook page, right, Renata? We have a Facebook page, Running In Style. Okay, wonderful. And running In Style. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> she said, do you run? That's what, I uh, run. I ran for, I ran five miles yesterday and the day before <laughs> I run almost every day and I left. Oh <laughs> I can't see it. Y'all. I knew that's why she did it because she's always posting on her Instagram page. So make sure you guys follow us all on everybody on Instagram. You know, we got, we're there. We're on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. You know, we're on everything. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. I love running. It okay. Helps mine. Well, that was it. I'm just trying to keep up with her running schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for at least doing that. You guys see, I don't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you think about it, uh, you run, you video, you, ooh, anyway. I'm tired listening to it. Okay. <laughs> thank, well, thank you for having me. I sure appreciate it. You guys, please remember to like and subscribe. All of the links for anything that we're talking about on here, once it gets to YouTube, will be in the description below. Do the thumbs up on both of us. I appreciate you. We both appreciate you. Yes. And we look forward to seeing you in our comment section on both of our YouTube videos. Y'all have a wonderful afternoon. Appreciate Bye. it. Bye. <laughs>